This is a walkthrough and a tutorial of one of 10, which is a YouTube tool that if you are looking to grow on YouTube, you need to be aware of and you should probably be using. This is a walkthrough of the tool, why you want to be using it, all of its different features and how you can maximize them to find better topics, to shape your videos around, to get more views. So what one of 10 does is it allows you to find outliers amongst categories, niches or channels to help shape better ideas for you because YouTube is a platform of outliers. And so if you can make better decisions on future topics to cover, if you can spot outliers on competitive channels, or if you see it in a niche in general, if you can spot outliers for a bunch of different channels, you should make a video around a similar topic because it's proven to be in demand and is way more likely to bring you views. So we're going to walk through how you can use this tool. I've already signed up. So once you've done that, this is what you're going to see inside of it. And so what you want to do is you want to search for outliers using this. And what they do is they show you a multiplier score. So this right here would signify that it is a 2.1 X performer compared to a rolling five video average. So that takes the total sum of the five videos before and the five videos after and their performance and shows you that it's 2.1 times more successful than that rolling average. So it's a really good indication of how their videos typically perform and how much better or worse a video is performing. And so within this, you can search based on niches. So let's say you are in the finance niche. You can just simply click finance and with from the home tab, it's going to populate some videos and then show you a bunch of their outliers, which is a great starting point and can really give you a ton of inspiration for topics, titles and thumbnails to go after incorporating proven elements that people who like this kind of content will actually click and watch. But you can take this a step further and this is where I really think one of 10 shines is that you can completely customize your search based on filters. So you can come into here and you can adjust all these different search criteria. So you can have only 4x multipliers, let's say if I wanted that. It's a rolling tab. You can change it to whatever you want. The median views as well as the subscribers, view count overall, views versus subs, number of columns, video duration, and as well as the publication date. Two things I want to outline here for subscribers. Sometimes it's actually good to keep this number lower because smaller channels can get crazy outliers. Typically, they're willing to take more risks. So bigger channels won't actually take a topic that is unproven oftentimes until they've seen it work for someone else. And so it's sometimes the hidden gems can be found in the smaller channels. So that's one point I wanted to note. And the publication date, I would say, is probably the next biggest and most important tool within the search filters. So YouTube is a, is a moving platform. So you don't really care if a video got a ton of views 10 years ago and it's not getting any views anymore because the interest is gone. You care more about relevancy and the timing of that. So you can completely adjust this search be within the last six months, the last year, three months, last month, etc. Or you could leave it all time. There's a few examples where you may want to go back to older stuff and maybe bring that back, remix it, etc. But for the majority of people, you're going to want to keep it recent because that is proven to be in demand right now. And we're going to use this to shape better decisions. So I'm going to go within the last six months. We'll go to apply change. And so as soon as we do that and we adjust the filters, that then changes what we see within our outliers. And so right here, we're still in the finance, but now it's being used with all the outliers. So it's giving us video examples that fall within those criteria. And so you can see right here, there are some outliers that are 4.9, 13.7x, etc. You're looking for the largest outliers possible around topics that would still make sense for you to make videos around. So when you're doing your search, they do have it based on niches. You can go even deeper than that by clicking exact search words or keywords if you want to search far more specifically or if they don't have your niche already here. So let's say I like this video right here, Cash is King. What you can do with this is you can bookmark this so we can save our searches into categories, buckets or bookmarks. And all this really is, is kind of building up a catalog of inspiration to look for common themes, common things used in titles and thumbnails and the topics that are really pulling views within a given niche. So let's say I want to add this. I'll go to add to bookmarks and I'll name this one finance. And then through doing that, it's now within my bookmarks. And so I can go through here, go back to finance and I can add a bunch of videos into that to create kind of a lookbook to see the things that are working, seeing the common elements within the finance space. If you're having trouble finding videos like I was right there, I didn't find any examples that really spoke to what I was looking for. I can go back into my catalog of content. Like so let's say right here, click find similar. And when that does is actually takes the inspiration of this video and finds similar videos around topics and themes. So this can be really helpful for me to find videos far faster if I'm struggling to find it just with the generic niche searching. So from here, I can go in and find some, let's look for some major outliers here. So we've got a 4.3, a 1.9, win with money. I like, so obviously we'll add that. So bookmark, add that to the finance bucket. So I don't love any of these. So what I'll do is I'll actually type in the word finance and you can even filter this further by typing in specific keywords. These are some examples right here. I can use this to see if I find anything I like. I don't, so we'll go, we'll, we'll do specific themes that we know are incredibly popular within finance to help refine our search. So we'll do how to make money and we'll look for some outliers. There's a 4.9 for Hermosi, bookmark that. And let's say you come across a channel that you know does a lot of great content within your niche that has the audience you're trying to go after. You can also track specific channels. And so the benefit to this, I could click at this. Let's say Hermosi makes sense for me. I can go to tracker and then I can look at content that is currently performing for his channel. So I can come in and actually look at, okay, well, what's doing well 
for Alex Hermosi in particular. So this is a great way to keep an eye on competition or people who have similar audiences to what you're trying to build or complementary audiences to see the themes that they're going back to consistently or what's really outperforming for them. So really good idea to track channels that have your people. But let's do some more searching. I'll do a little more, we'll go how to make money. I just wanna get a few more in there to show you exactly what we would do from here to try to decide some things. So yeah, yeah, let's add our filters again. I want it to be at least, let's say a 5X multiplier just to give us some good examples here. And within the last six months, I'm happy with everything else. Let's apply changes. That's gonna change what we get. Now we're looking for some major outliers. So 13.7X, I love that, let's add that to finance a 17.4x. And so when, when you're using this, it's important to not just look for thumbnails that pop for you, but add anything in that makes sense for your niche because you may find an inspiration for say, a topic you wanna to cover or a title that they use. There's a reason why these perform, there's a reason why these are outliers, and we wanna compile enough things within our lookbooks to actually see what those things are. So for example, when I add this in here, the thumbnail's not great. As you can see, it's kind of almost hard to read, but clearly there's probably a freelancing for beginners is a topic that people are highly interested in. So that's something that I would want to know. So having that within my finance lookbook to come up with new ideas that are proven is a really good idea. So let's add a few more and take this further. So how to become a millionaire when you're broke, 8.9x multiplier for Charlie. We'll add that and then this, and then we'll go through and look at it. So add in, I'd say at least 10 for when you're trying to find some inspiration here. And then we're going to go and I'll explain to you what you would do from here. So we go into our bucket or our bookmarks. And what we're gonna try to do here is look for common themes that we could use within the topics that we wanna cover. So we're looking for common elements. So freelancing for beginners, I found the easiest side hustle, how to become a millionaire when you're broke. So right there, I'm seeing some common themes that targeting videos to beginners or people that don't currently have money is a great way to pull a ton of views and just doing so quickly, right? So these are the common elements that we're looking for just from terms of the topic perspective. And you can also look for things that are popping in terms of money. And this is obviously a super fast example. You would want to go more in depth with this, add further examples and refine your criteria. This is also a really good way to narrow down an idea. So let's say you know you want to cover a certain topic. Now let's take this topic and actually go in and see what's already working so we can make sure to incorporate similar elements from a title and a thumbnail perspective that are proven to be working for the topic that we want to cover. That's really where the the magic of this tool comes in is that you're not making guesses here. You're able to look at things and use data to make better decisions. That's the magic of one out of 10, one of 10. And you can really go crazy with this. So many big YouTubers are using this tool and it's because we were already all doing this just with a far less sophisticated approach that took way more time. So now you can do this based on niche. You can do it based on keyword and you can add things into bookmarks and follow or track certain channels that you wanna keep an eye on. So this is one of 10. If you do wanna try it out for yourself, you can do so using the link down below to sign up and give it a try. So they also have a free Chrome extension that we've linked down below, and this allows you to do things right on YouTube. So once you download it and add it to Chrome, when you go to YouTube, it's gonna show the outlier score on videos across YouTube. And they also have a thumbnail viewer, which allows you to test how your thumbnail will look like on YouTube and a few other tools that are here as well. So you can check that out uh, for free. We've linked that down below as well. If you're looking to grow a business online, this is the channel for you. At Online Income Tools, we find the best tools to help you grow your online business in the least amount of time. So if you're looking for the best tools and how to use them, this is the place to be. As mentioned, one of 10 is linked down below if you want to access it and try it out for yourself. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.